Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and welcome to my channel for all kinds of wire art and jewelry making tutorials and live streams. Today I'm going to make some goddess pendants that were inspired by my sister's beautiful paintings. What you're going to need for the goddesses are your tools. I have cutters, I have round pliers, flat pliers. You need some round forms. I'm going to use the ring mandrel and I'm using 20 gauge wire. So I'm going to start a little to one side of the middle and I want to form the head so you can get a round form to form the head. You can make it really any size that you want. I don't want to make it too big so I'm just going to go to my round pliers and just make it a little bit smaller. And then I want to form the arms so we're just going to take the pliers and bring this one up and around and then over this side we're just going to bring the pliers and bring it up and around. This wire is very soft so you can use a thicker wire if you want. So what I want to do is just bring these arms around and I'm just going to kind of form some hands. So to do that I'm just going to hold the wire, bend it a bit and form kind of a round type hand. Very stylized. So we're going to bring that one around here and then this one we can try to get them more or less the same size and I'm going to bring this one here down here. We can overlap them so that we'll be able to stick a jump ring through after. So we're just going to bring this one around around here. And this one I'm going to bend it back a little bit push it down and follow around the shape. This one too we can just push it up and down and bring it around. So there we have the basic starting point for the goddess and here we can just do little stylized boobs. We could bring this one around here to do the curve. Bring it around to the same side. We're just going to bring this one around here. You can use the bale pliers to make the circles a little larger. So now we want to form the hips. So I'm just going to take the round pliers again and bend that one out and then do the same on this side. We're just going to bend that out. You can get a round form to pull this one around and down. So same on this side. We're just going to take the round form and bring it down. So what I'm going to do now is just bring this one up. So I'm just going to go whatever height that I want. I'm going to push this one straight up so it's a little bit pinched here. So we're going to take this here, pinch it and then we can kind of like spread it out like that so it ends in a point. You can shape it around a little bit more. I'm just going to take this and bend it up at a right angle. I probably should have cut this wire a little bit longer but that's okay. Just line these up and then I'm going to start the bend with these round pliers. I'm just going to bend it around and then we're going to tug that. Give it a good little tug and then I'm going to clip that, pinch it in so it's securely in place and then I want to take this one and bend it over. So to do that I'm just going to hold this wire with the pliers and pinch it over. So we just hold that pinch it over, take the end of a pen, bring it around and just form a spiral. This is my favorite way to make a spiral just on a cone. I'll trim that end so it's flush and then I'm going to take the round pliers, hold it and just with the flick of the wrist just bend it in. So we're just going to bring this one in, curve it around, and bring it right in and just kind of push it. I push it down so it forms the spiral. So now we're just going to flatten that one a little bit and there's our very stylized goddess that you could put on a jump ring or on earrings. So this one I'm going to use 18 gauge wire. Just bend it at the halfway point just using a round form just to get the starting point of the head and then we want to bend this one out to form the arms. So on either side we're just going to bend this out, bring this one up here and then as we did before we're going to form the arms. So let's bring this one around here up to the top 
and we could just do very simple forms you know rather than making shape in the hands we could just like pull it back like that and then just bring it down so we can do the same on this side bring it around up here bring this one around here so it's more or less centered and then we're just going to form a little loop here so we just bring this one down form the curve and bring it down here and you can pinch these in as much as you like so just bring it right down follow that curve and this one follow that curve so there we have the beginning part of the goddess and then what I want to do is just bend these down a bit for the under the arms we'll get the bail pliers and just bring this one around rather than make a loop I'm just going to bend it back on itself so I'm just going to hold this bend this back at a sharp angle and then push it back and then we're going to get the round pliers again the bail making pliers and follow the same curve around here so now we're going to bring this one around here and again get your flat pliers at about the same position just bend that to the back pinch it get the looping pliers again and bring it out so there we have both sides and then now I want to form the hips so we'll just take the round pliers just right underneath and then push this in a little bit and the same on the other side so just take it in the same position and bring it in then we want to make a kind of exaggerated hip line but what I want to do is I want to be able to dangle a chain and I don't want it to fall off so I'm going to make some loops so I'm actually going to take my round pliers and hold them in place here and then I want to just make a loop but to the side so I'm going to bring this one around here so we have a kind of a loop happening just to the side I'll do one on this side we're just going to take this and do a little loop to the side so bring that one around it doesn't have to be that big so we have a couple of little loops here that we're going to hang the chain in and then I'm going to take the flat pliers hold the loop and then just bend it out at a right angle this one too so we're going to take that and bend it out and then what I'm going to do is just hold this and bring this around to form the hip and then this one too we're going to hold that and then bring it around to form the hips if you want the more exaggerated just take this and just push it out a little bit more on an angle so now what we want to do is just bring this one around bring this one around I cut my wire way too long and then we could give some shape to this so we can just bring this one around here then you're going to decide how high you want it and at that point you can take your flat pliers hold this here and just wind this one around a couple of times and then we're going to clip it pinch that in place so that it's not going to move now here if you want at the bottom you can do a spiral so to do that I like to start it on the ring cone just hold it in place we're going to bring it around a couple of times and then you can clip the wire flush take your round pliers and just pull it in so just hold that bring it around pull it in if you have a preferred way to make spirals go for it but I like to work this way kind of work my way in towards the center usually I use a cone but this one I just used the ring mandrel so we're going to bring it in there so there we have our spiral and then we're going to push it down so it's flat the bottom ended up being a little bit big but that's okay you can play around with it and now I'm going to attach a little uh, heart so to do that you can use a head pin or if you don't have a head pin you can just get a piece of wire so we'll just cut the end flush make a teeny little loop on the end if you have a head pin you don't have to do this step pinch it in put your bead on there to do the loop I just cut this to 3 8 to half an inch get my round pliers and bend it back 
and around. To attach the chain I need some jump rings. If you don't have jump rings just use some wire. This is 20 gauge wire. You can use your bail making pliers to make jump rings and we're just going to take this and go around a couple of times. This way you can get jump rings the same size. I'll link up below. I have a tutorial on all kinds of things to do with these looping pliers. And then we're going to cut that one flush. And then I just flip it and cut it flush. I also have some double flush cutting pliers that I forgot upstairs. So I'll just use these. So to attach the chain, I'll just take the jump ring and stick it in the end of the chain. So we have it in there and then we're going to just take the goddess and stick it in one of these loops. And then we can close it up. Make sure it's pinched closed. And then we want this to hang down but I'm going to put the heart on there. So we're just going to take the heart, put the chain through there. If you don't have chain you can just use a wire. And then we're just going to decide how long we want this to hang. It looks like it's going to be good about there. So then we're going to clip the chain. Just be careful that the bead doesn't pop out. So we're going to clip it. Save the chain for another project. And then we're going to open up the other jump ring. We'll stick the jump ring through the end of the chain. And then we're going to bring it around to this side. Pop it in the other loop. And then we'll close the jump ring. And if you need help from another pair of pliers, just grab another pair of flat pliers. Just close the jump ring like that. And there you have the very funky goddess with the dangling heart bead. And if you want to hang up the goddess either on a necklace or as a sun catcher, just take a jump ring and string it through both of the hands and close it up. And you can hang it on a necklace. Be sure to check out my sister's website, kristenboy.ca. She is a Bowen therapist and does all kinds of other healing modalities. And she has a great YouTube channel with lots of home exercises. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.